Yo, Swag Squids and Kids, this is Hashcrab here, and today we're going to beat the fourth boss of Splatoon! And as you can see, it's going to be a really challenging one this time. You know, just like the last ones. Like the one where you had to shoot straight. And the one where you had to actually know how to squid jump. So already, we know we're in for a very tough time fighting this boss. You see, I've done a very expert maneuver of a squid jump, but don't worry about it. I'm just going to do an easier thing like... That! Maybe I can jump off this thing and uh, I'm not going to have enough momentum even if I... Hmm. We'll be back. Oh wow, that was a necessary jump cut, especially since we got there in the end. I just realized there was probably an easy incline there, but that doesn't matter! We're gonna defeat the Octarian giant giga weapon and we're gonna make it regret ever pumping all this... Oh my... Oh my god! Look at all this deadly purple fluid they're pumping into the earth. This is just completely unforgivable. We won't stand for this. We won't tolerate this. I'll put up an internet petition and, you know, right after I can this tuna. Yes, I know it's supposed to be a shark. I guess Octarians don't exactly know what fish are. Hey, that's good for us because we can... Uh, the, the shooting's not going to do anything, but it, it swallowed that bomb just right whole. You know what the sad part is? This is the most challenging Octarian weapon we faced thus far. You see, see, it's really simple. You gotta make it feel extreme pain by shooting its teeth out of its mouth, which there is no way that feels comfortable. You see, I... I uh, you see, my timing is frame perfect, don't you know? I've got the precision of a guy that's not very precise, but don't worry about it. That's that's why I stick with rollers and ink brushes. Oh, and the teeth migrate to where it covers the hole, which is uh, good for you. I'm just gonna blow you up like I was planning to do. And, you know, we could have found out what happened after that, but. I think I'll put that in an extras video, maybe. I don't know. You know what I do know? Is that those gold teeth are gonna be super fragile because, as we all know, gold is a very bendy and brittle element. And it will break under the slightest pressure and... Oh. Oh, I only have enough time to shoot one of them before it blows up. And I'm not gonna face shooty golden jets or anything. I'm just gonna blow it up and be done with the boss. As you can see, this is by far the most versatile and dangerous octo weapon we have ever faced. But we defend it all the same. Now, we're gonna get our new weapon. And our Octarian Zapfish that isn't an Octarian Zapfish anymore. We win. Agent 2, no. Obviously, I am the best soldier you've ever had because of... Oh, oh right, there's the captain. You sound a little different, captain. And what if he said, mm, okay, here you go. What were you planning to do then? Just walk away with your great zapfish? Hmm. This hostile enemy force definitely wants the capital of squid kind. Hmm, I'm gonna go on a limb here, Agents Callie and Mary, and say this is kind of newsworthy. Anyway, check out the news. Actually, don't check out the news. And we're gonna see you all on the deep end, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the deep end again. Doosh! Thank <laughs> you.